Now, President Uru Kenyatta is scheduled to attend an international ploughing competition being held in Joro, Nakuru County. Let's bring in our reporter, Victor Gale, to explain how this competition is taking place. Victor, it is a first of its kind of ploughing competition in the region. What more can you tell us? Well, uh, Michelle, this is the second time that Kenya is hosting the World Ploughing uh, Challenge, the World Ploughing Competition. The first time it was held in Kenya, it was in 1995, still at this particular uh, venue. This is the Egerton University in Joro. It was one of the farms that we belong to the university. And uh, this is quite um, a, a hilarious thing because most of the people that are coming here have never seen this before. Uh, most of the people perhaps thought that um, being a plowing competition, perhaps uh, tractors will be racing each other as we see with the vehicles. But now, what is happening here? Just give you a glimpse of what is happening. On my left, that is where the camera is heading. This is more or less the normal type of uh, plowing. And uh, you can see the tractors coming and going back from a particular point to the other. And uh, on my right, I don't know if uh, uh, my colleague can get that. Uh, this is called the irreversible mode of plowing. That is on my right. That is where the, the, the camera is facing right now. And uh, we have participants from uh, all over, from uh, the American continent, from Europe, as well as here in Africa. And basically what is happening, uh, the, the tractor, once it goes and it's plowed, with the mold bold, uh, blades, it goes. And um, there is a particular uh, 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 mode of plowing that they have to adhere to. And uh, that means that the plow has to go 15 centimeters deep into the ground. And um, the mode of competition, or rather what the judges are looking for, apart from the 15 centimeters, they are also looking for uh, a ground that has been plowed completely and there is no sign of grass. That um, the, the blade has gone in through the soil and turned it completely. Though uh, there are others that have done it correctly, there are others that are still struggling to achieve that. And it involves a lot of applied sciences and a, a lot of um, agricultural mechanics. And also it depends with who has or rather who has serviced um, their blades better. Coming back here in the country, you only have two contestants here in Kenya and um, I can confirm to you they're not doing pretty much, they're not doing pretty much well, but uh, one of them at some point wanted to, it's called Mr. Gigan, Joseph Kigan wanted to opt out because he did not have the particular equipment. Uh, his uh, plowing machine had broken down at some point, but uh, he was given a tractor by the Kenya Seed Company, and uh, he is um, on this other side, he is plowing. And we are expecting the arrival of the chief guest, that is um, uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta, just any time from now. And uh, remember, this competition will go on through to the 3rd of December, Michelle. All right, and Victor, just before I let you go, interesting that you mentioned uh, the only two Kenyans in the competition aren't doing uh, very well, uh, considering uh, the reputation of the region as being a food basket. But what is the aim of this ploughing competition? Uh, it, it aims to produce the, 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 the rather best uh, people who know how to plow in the world. Uh, remember, I was told you there are people who come from uh, every corner of the world, Estonia, Germany. Finland, Lithuania, and um, we have people here who've been going, but like there's a gentleman we met from Switzerland by the name of Mark Angst. He says he has been participating since 1989 to date. So if you look, and if you look at their profiles, they are both that have been placed, uh, I don't know, we can have, there's a gentleman here by the name of Jay Lennox. Everyone has their own profile. You can see that he was um, as the world junior record holder in 2014, he won in 2015, and he won in, in uh, Ontario, that is in his country in Canada, and as well in 2016. So as of now, it is not clear over the, the prize money that they are going to be given, rather the prize of the winner, the prize of uh, the winner, the person who will match the best. Because remember, there are two categories here. And um, after they are doing this, where the, the, the vegetation is a bit big, the long grass, tomorrow they'll go to a place where the, the grass level is a bit low. And uh, after that, that is when the judges will sit down and uh, do the tabulation and, and do the summary of the entire results. But then again, that also, uh, as a country, means that uh, stakeholders in the agricultural secretary sector I mean, uh, need to come on board uh, in terms of equipment and even training. Because looking at what our brothers and sisters from uh, Europe are doing and what our brothers from Kenya are doing, 
Uh, indeed, there is a very big disconnect. And even if you walk around, uh, there is a joke that people are saying that um, uh, we normally see people plowing, perhaps uh, county tractors or even uh, uh, private farmers. But what they do compared to this is on a scale of uh, 0 to 10, perhaps you might give them a negative 1. Michelle? All right, many thanks. That is our Victor Gale live from Joro, where a plowing competition, the second in the country, is currently going on. President Huru Kenyatta is among the chief guests expected at the event. Now, let's tell me